Hello everyone, this is Will from Apple 121, and yes, we are going to be demoing the iPad 26 OS with multitasking, and that's the focal point of this entire video, is to work on multitasking here on the iPad. I went ahead and just and put on the developer version because I was so curious to look at the iPad, see what it acts like, what are the different things that we can do on here, and what are the things that maybe they can also improve to help our experience. And what we're going to go through today is all the multitasking features as well as hook it up a display. I think it'd be really good to hook this up to a display and see how it acts and see how the performance goes. So right away, when I started up iPad OS 26, I got this message on the screen, which you're seeing right now. And that is that you have an option to keep the full screen aspect or go right to Windows and right away. And so you get the choice of that. Now, not everyone's going to need the multi tasking features so they automatically do that however you can go back and actually fix this later on what you're seeing right now is the multitasking and gestures settings where you could decide if you want to go back to full screen apps windowed apps or have stage manager so when i set this up i put windowed apps so i could play around with this but if you accidentally do windowed apps and maybe you want to go back to the full screen apps you can do that so all you got to do is just tap here and now it says full screen apps and if i just go ahead and open up an app it now puts it into full screen and we could do all full screen up but you can see on the bottom corner there's no drag icon that we are going to see when we do that and there's no way to have multiple safari windows open at the same time so this is going back to a normal ipad format that everybody understands let's now go back to the main screen and let's go to settings uh, right now i'm using my finger to tap everything but pretty soon i am going to be using my trackpad and keyboard i have from logitech so i'm going to go to windowed apps and you can see that the settings actually change as well you can see the gestures and everything is changing based on that functionality. So now we have windowed apps and we're gonna go through what this looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Safari again, but this time on the bottom right corner, you can see this little icon right here. It blows up as I'm dragging it. And now I'm creating a windowed environment just like if I was running on Mac OS. Now, one thing that's a little annoying is I'm, I'm noticing with the Safari, hopefully they fix this. It keeps opening up. The, this tab area, I hate, I hate that being opened up, so I wanna close this off. And then I'm just gonna make it smaller. And now with my finger, anywhere on the uh, on this top bar, basically up here, where the toolbar kind of lives, you could drag and move it around. So I'm gonna resize everything. And as you can see, I'm making a full screen. The dock got pushed down as I did that. And as I tapped away from it, the dog reappeared. And what I could do is now open up a, one of the most common things we're probably gonna do is have another window. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign and drag it out. And now I have two Safari windows. So if I need to go to my health for whatever reason, or I go to my AMC. So now I have two Safari windows open together. And you can go ahead and just move this around, kind of resize it. You also have a flickering motion where it'll resize it like it just did right there. And now you can go in between. And now you can see this little icon shows you that you can now go on and separate the two Safari windows, which is really awesome. I'm now going to use this again, but this time I'm going to use the mouse. So as you can see now, they have a, a real mouse here. And I can go ahead and click, and it works pretty well. I can go up here, click up here. I'll just go to google.com and then hit return. And then here are the google.com and that's how you can kind of now resize it. Now, what I could do on the trackpad is I could take three fingers and what it did is it separated, it pushed everything out of the way. Now I can go ahead and do something else. So if I want to go ahead and open up news, it now opens up news in a full screen environment. But again, same deal, you could drag this and now you have this on top. And again, you could just swipe away and then swipe away one more time and then they completely disappear. To get them back, you can just click on Safari, as you can see, it opened up only the one window. And this is where things get a little confusing, where you're opening up Safari, but it's only opening the one window up. So this is where having windows can be a little weird. So now, I, if I click on Safari, I have two windows open. But now, I, I just got it back here. But I want to show you kind of what I did. So I wanted to see everything, which is where the app switcher is. So I'm just going to hold down. I'm going to uh, just kind of hold here. Like uh, I'm using four fingers and now I have all the apps which are items available. It's weird. So when I have Safari open, see they're together right now. But if I was to go to, let's say, news, I'm going to open up news using my keyboard. 
swipe them away, and then swipe them both away, and then well, let me see what happens if I click Safari. See, it only opens up one item, and this is where I think multitasking is a little functionality weird right now, where maybe they have to fix this. But when I click on Safari, I would expect both windows to be reopened, but they didn't. So I'm gonna swipe away, and then I'm gonna swipe up, and, and I'm gonna swipe and hold. So you can see it's kind of blurring out. This is also kind of hard with a finger. Um, but I want to get to the app switcher. I don't feel like this is as easy to do. Like I'm trying to do it. See, now I blurred it. Now it goes and shows you my app switcher. And then if I tap on it, see, it's not opening up both of them at the same time. So that's what, and now it does. See, it's really weird. So I think there's some multitasking functionality that's just a little weird with it. If I want to close the windows, this is a very Mac-like environment. We have the X, the minus, and the maximize. So again, we can just minus it, which will just minimize it down in the dock. So it puts it down there. If I do the same thing here, I can uh, go ahead. See, it's a little bit tough to write because uh, the menu bar showed up. But now if I minimize them they're now away if i go do something else and then i can just reopen it back up but again not opening up both windows so that's why i think this strategy eh, it's a little finicky right now but again we're on a developer beta i'm hoping they can fix it i'm also trying to get to the app switcher not easy to do on uh, my fingers this is becoming a real pain actually uh to do it so i do feel like there's some functionality that may not work but i'm going to go ahead and close this or i can go ahead and maximize it and that's what's great about having the little windows now you also have the menu bar up top too which is great and you have uh you could close all windows you have all the strokes here so on my keyboard i'm gonna do command w and that'll close it and then it reopens up another window i'm going to close it again there we go. Now we're back to the main screen. So you can see how great it can work and how maybe not great it works. What I like too is that when I have my, let me swipe it over. There we go. And then I'm going to open up, uh, do command space bar on the keyboard. I'm going to open up Wix. So I have all my stuff here and then I can just swipe it over and now I can be able to swipe them both. So really good i like to have these both together open at the same time one thing that's missing that i wish that the app switcher kind of had was the feature that allowed you to kind of have them both as like one desktop permanently there used to be a feature in full screen mode where you could do that but they it's kind of gone here you don't have the ability to do it uh so there are times where i'm going back and forth and these two will not be together but for right now for if i just don't touch anything i'm playing a lot here it, it could be a different thing so uh that's pretty much how to do this there are some functionality features i wish that they would bring back if you want to you can close all windows after swiping home so instead of it moving it out of the way what if i turn this feature on instead of uh if i open up uh here and then let's go to wixie again same deal they're, they're not opened up together and then if i just swipe away they just go away instead of having the split apart. So if you want that, you can do that. Otherwise, I'm going to turn that on and off. Automatically show and hide the dock. I kind of like that. Stage Manager is here, and there is a difference in this. So I'm going to turn on Stage Manager, and let's go ahead and do this. So now I'm going to open up Safari. As you can see, right away, it opens up the apps here on the left. So Wix and invoice to go where I had them together, are together here. So uh, see how great that does work out. Uh, may not always work, but let's say I want to have this window open and YouTube. So I'm going to click on YouTube. But what it does is it, it switches between them. So it didn't really work the way I wanted it. So I'm going to go back. And now I'm just going to drag YouTube over here. And now I have the window format. And now I can just drag this, make it smaller, push it over. And... I gotta wait for the menu bar to be out of the way. It's a little high. So I'm just gonna drag it over. I'm gonna use my finger also, maybe just to make it be a little bit easier. But you can see you can have both Stage Manager open and your Windows open at the same time. And then I can just go to Files, switch to that. And then I can also go, let's go back home using the Home button. And I can go back and then open up Safari again. Goes right back to where I was. I could switch between this and go to News while they're separate. As you can see, it kept them together. If I open up Wix and there, see now they stay together. It's it's really interesting how when it decides when it can and when it can't. That's that's the one thing I will say. Also with a keyboard, I have a button here. If I hit it twice, it actually opens up and it separates everything. So I actually like the keyboard functionality instead of the swiping functionality of app switcher and then go right back to it and there's stage manager again together so this this kind of helps actually making stage manager very useful because i can easily just switch back to my previous items on my left and then use the items i'm doing on my right and that's very useful for me i think that's a really great idea uh where stage manager now becomes a little bit more useful what i'm now going to do is show you 
multitasking on a display. All right, so what I'm doing now is I have my iPad recording, and now you can also see my display. I wish I had screen recording, I could do both, but I couldn't figure that out in the time frame I'm trying to do this. But as you can see, I have my cursor here on the big desktop. I made this a split display. Now how I did that is in the settings, what you're gonna do is under the display and brightness, you could choose if you wanna do screen mirroring or extend display, which is what I decided to do. You can also do your arrangement if you how you want to do that. And let's go ahead and do some multitasking in this window. So I'm gonna go ahead, I clicked inside of here, you can see it's showing up. And let's go ahead and open up Safari. And as you can see, it actually remembered what I opened up before. So it already has that ready to go, uh, which is interesting how it figured that out, where I opened up YouTube and Safari at the same time. Now I can go over here and I can expand it. It makes it full screen. So very much, again, a, a very Mac OS thing. I just hit the home button, I'm gonna go back down. Uh, the one thing I will say about the Logitech, it's a little choppy, and I think that's just because of what I have here. Also, on the menu bar, I can go ahead and I can go change it. So, if under view, I can go ahead and decide on how I want this to look. Uh, it's great to have a menu bar here, I will say that. It's really neat to, to have this. Uh, so, I can go and resize it, and I'm going to say I'm going to put it on the right. So, now I'll put it on the right here, then I'm going to go over to YouTube, which is now in Stage Manager, by the way. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take it out of Stage Manager. And then I'm going to go up to the corner here. A little hard on this one. See, it's actually giving me... A, see, the menu bar is kind of actually getting in the way. It's almost like you should move this down a little bit when you do it. And then if I hold down my finger, I can go ahead and resize. I'm actually holding down my, my mouse, sorry. And then I'm going to click this. And now I have them both here together at the same time. So they are on two screens. And then you can look on my main display here. Uh, it's completely separate from what I'm doing. I can open up my, again, my Wix and my invoice, and it puts it together. And now I have two screens at the same time. Really, really neat stuff that I can have. This this is on an iPad, which is crazy to see multiple, four windows right now open at the same time, uh, which was not possible before with multitasking. Uh, again, the menu bar gets a, it gets a little bit in the way. I will say learning how the menu bar has been working it's it's almost shouldn't be at the very top it almost should have a little bit of space here because it gets in the way of trying to do things on it uh, but it's, it is awesome that, that we have a menu bar command w will close this i'm going to close this out and just so i just wanted you to see how it looked like on the display of course you could do mirroring where it's identically the same on here but that's really the journey i wanted to go through with this for you was just learning about multitasking how to do it how to organize it and the fact that we could do this now with multiple windows uh, with stage manager you can decide on what you want to do i mean stage manager may not be for everybody but i can also now even have things in four corners i can just go up here and then i can say i wanted to have it at the uh, you know four window layout i can have four windows open at the same time which i think is really neat to have while well, i have four windows up here two windows here on ipad amazing it really is a, a game changing i think operating system and i hope you guys get an opportunity to look at this uh analyze it see what you like but definitely go through if you want to put the developer on you can go ahead but you know that's a big risk you take i'm doing this on an ipad where i don't have as much functionality that i use for it if you like the full screen apps you know it'll just put everything back to full screen. Combined with a display now, this feels like a real Mac environment. And I hope that everybody watching gets something very useful out of this. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me. And I love every single one of you.